Yasu, hello and welcome back to my channel everybody. If you guys are new here, my name is Nush and I make reactions here on YouTube. And today we are coming in hot with our brand new series for next year's Eurovision 2024. Now the first representative of this year's contest has already been released and that is coming from Belgium, but we haven't actually had much news on who the other countries are going to send. Personally, I do prefer when countries have national selections because it gets the public excited and ultimately the public then choose who they want to send. But I have had a ton of messages from all you guys, especially my Greek family. Greece has announced their representative for this year's contest and they're going to be sending Marina Sati to Eurovision 2024. If you have no idea, Eurovision is going to be hosted in the city of Malmö, Sweden. And that was following Lorene's win from this year's contest. I have no idea about Marina. I am Cypriot Armenian. I should probably know more. So I thought today we would look at a little bit on who she is and some of her other stuff maybe i think there was one song in particular said for me to react to and i think it's called mantiza yeah the song is called mantiza okay let's find out a bit more about her because i don't know anything so Marina Sati is a Greek singer, songwriter, and music producer. Her music is mostly categorized by combining traditional Greek, Arab, and Balkan sounds with urban elements, rhythm, and production. Ooh, okay. I like a bit of that already. So, I mean, I'm always a fan of Greece, let's be honest. I've never really had a problem <laughs> with their music. Last year's Greek song, Victor, what a sweet guy, I interviewed him, but the song, comparing it to the others, just wasn't quite there. So I'm hoping this year we get a qualifying song. So right now I think we should just delve right in into Mantiza. If there's any other songs you want me to react to of hers in particular, please let me know down below. But before we do so, please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel over here. That is very important. Clicking that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you want to follow me over on Instagram or TikTok, it is Nush101. This song has 55 million views, so clearly she is a big deal, and clearly this is gonna be good. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Oh, we've got a one take wonder. Oh, okay. Love her voice. Love the style. Yeah, definitely giving me Athens realness, that's for sure. And I, I love the production of this. I wonder if the whole thing's going to be in one take. That would be pretty awesome. Okay, let's find out. I'm talking way too much already. Ooh. <gasps> you know what you know what this reminds me of Kai Kiza Kiza whatever her name is Hideaway that music video very similar the dancing already I'm liking this Ooh. <laughs> okay Dancing. <laughs> hey. Woo. Okay, I have goosebumps everywhere. Look, this. I know I, I do have particularly hairy arms. I get that, but come on, this is great. Like, I wasn't expecting that breakdown at all, which is great. I love it when artists can really surprise you. And she just has a very contemporary look about her, so you don't expect the traditional elements, and you can really see those influences uh, throughout Europe and even the Middle East uh, that she's used. It's not just a traditional Greek song, and already I feel like she's going to bring a lot of uniqueness to this contest. <laughs> and the choreo is on point. Like for them to remember this throughout the whole thing is quite a talent in itself. So clearly this girl knows how to dance. 
which is always a very good sign. Woo! Ah, oh, every bone in my body is going right now. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, I'm in love with her. I love this. <laughs> oh my, that was excellent. Like, no wonder that has 55 million views. Yeah, how, where do I even begin? She, from my reaction, you can clearly see that I think she is perfect for Greece to send to Eurovision. I don't know why they haven't done this sooner. I mean, that song was six years old. So she's been around. As I said, she's gonna bring this unique sound to Greece. And I mean, I haven't reacted to any of the other songs, so I really am intrigued to do that. And I'm, I'm sure I will. If you guys give me some recommendations, I will go ahead. I'm really invested in her. Like, she reminds me a bit of La Daniva, who is an Armenian French artist. And she also has this very quite contemporary look about her, but she brings all these traditional old school elements and mixes them together so well. And we know how I feel about songs that can do that in Eurovision. A song needs to sound like it's from the country, which sounds like Marina will definitely do that. She can definitely dance. So we can expect even a dance break. She's clearly very talented in, in that department and she can sing as well, very, very well. I'm just really excited to see what she's gonna come up with for this contest. I think she's gonna do a really good job, but I definitely think this is one to watch out for. We obviously don't have any of the actual songs out yet, so that is TBC. But for now, this is a very good start for Greece, and I am very, very impressed. Well done, really good pick, and just ignore everything I said about the national selection. I know this is gonna do well. But of course, that was just what I thought. I wanna know what you thought of Greece's representative for Eurovision 2024. Please let me know down in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.